Well guys, here it is. This is my kayak trailer. It is a cargo or enclosed trailer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think it's 14 feet Vino's. Um, it is a covered wagon. And I'll give you guys a little tour of how I got it set up right now and what I've done to it so far and what my plans are for the future. Um, and let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos on this. All right, so yep, it's a covered wagon. 14 foot V nose dual axle with uh, brakes. And as you can see right here, I have drilled into it. Uh, I actually did this today. And you'll see what that is when we walk inside. Uh, just around back here, you see that it has two locks and this folds down. So you have a nice ramp. I'll fold that down here in a minute. And then on this side, uh, we have a side door with a little handle here so we can walk in and it's got a light right here so let's drop this thing down you see it's got a little ramp that folds out here makes it nice and easy to wheel anything up in here i do have it loaded with our kayaks in here uh, we're getting ready to take a beach trip so uh, this is what we take to the beach especially with two kids so we fill up all this with luggage and food and you know all, all the stuff that we bring to the beach so this is like all my fishing stuff for like surf fishing lures to rod, rod tubes for the beach life jackets stuff like that beach tent this is my brother-in-law's vibe uh yellowfin 130 tandem and then my wife's 106 is right here up on this rack and then there's my autopilot 120 but as you can see right here that's what i have mounted through it's this rack system so i can put a kayak up on the wall right here i originally just drilled in with self tappers but uh they ended up pulling out uh, it has metal framing, as you might be able to see, like it runs along here and here and everything like that. So uh, what I did was just drilled all the way through to the outside, put some silicone and a washer and a nut, and I drilled out the holes to be half inch bolts, which on this uh, rack system, I had to drill out the holes on the rack itself. But I wanted something really sturdy that I knew wasn't going to, you know, fall and fall onto my kayak below so that's what i ended up with uh works good it's got pads and everything so it protects the whole of the kayak and then it's got these nice straps which is perfect for this setup here because it's going to be in motion and you're going to hit bumps and stuff like that this way it doesn't bounce off the rack it's nice and strapped in um, as you guys can see got the batteries for the old towns a little beach wagon cooler crab trap sand flea rake another couple beach chairs and then a privacy tent and then our actual beach tent and then i've got his two chairs and all his paddles and stuff and then our anchor pins and her paddle and my kayak's pretty much put together other than the boondocks wheels that are just laying back here um just to make it shove up against the wall a little bit easier but other than that i still have all this room and that's with three kayaks in here. So I still have all this room to put stuff and uh, with strollers and and all the, you know, all the baby stuff you have to bring because I have a two year old and a six month old. So there's diapers and formula and all that stuff. But um, we use it for that probably once or twice a year. Most of the time it's just for kayaks. And as you can see, I did put flooring in here. This is a, a floating floor that you would find at Lowe's or Sam's or Costco or something like that. And uh, I did this just to protect this wooden subfloor because it wasn't treated or anything and rolling wet kayaks in and out. Uh, I just put that down to protect it. It was left over from a, a job I did. And so I just decided to throw it in here. I think it looks pretty cool. Now let's, that's going to start what I wanted to talk about what my plans are with this trailer and it's going to be kind of a 
camper conversion here. So it's not going to be like a full blown camper. We're not putting cabinets or anything like that, but we want we want to make it a little bit nicer for uh, like just normal camping. So you're not sleeping in a tent. You can sleep in this, whether that be putting some fans, running some electrical to it so you can plug in at certain places uh, just for short trips um, or for duck hunting. When I want to go duck hunting, I can throw the kayaks over here or my kayak over there. I can take the trip the night before because it's about two hours to the closest place I can really duck hunt. And this will let me go the night before and just sleep in the trailer. And then I'm there. I don't have to wake up four or five hours before sunlight to drive two hours and then get to my spot. I'm already there. I just put the kayak in and go. Um, it can also be just for hunting trips, fishing trips with buddies where we can just throw kayaks in here and, and roll out and then end up sleeping in here if we need to. <clears throat> so that's my plans. If you guys want to see more videos on this trailer, uh, let me know. Um, it probably won't be anytime soon, but if it is uh, and you guys want to see that, I'll make sure to post those videos. But yeah, so this is my 14 foot covered wagon. Dual axle with brakes. And the old Tundra pulls are just fine. Gets about 12 miles per gallon, 10 miles per gallon when pulling this. So it's not too bad at all. And if I really need to, I can throw two more kayaks up here. So really, I mean, I can probably throw another one or two in the trailer like it sits right now. And then two more up there. That's five. That's like seven kayaks, which probably will never happen. But it's a pretty cool rig for kayak fishing if you're into that sort of thing especially with camping and stuff taking trips like that with with your uh, friends or family um yeah so stay tuned for some hopefully outer banks fishing videos uh we're taking these down to the outer banks uh soon i don't plan on using the kayaks until then so that's why they're already loaded up so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and uh, let me know what should I do to this thing, or let me know if you want to see what I do to this thing, and I'll, I'll make sure to shoot videos when we're working on this trailer. Um, anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.